For the National Institute of Credit Administration, it's an epoch-making event as the body unveils the National Institute of Credit Administration Establishment Act, which was signed into law in August this year. For the Institute, it's been a dream of 30 years come true. Indeed, it's the dream of many years made possible after operating the former Institute of Credit Administration without national recognition for three decades. Professor Chris Onalo, your name will always be in the books of eminent Nigeria for being instrumental to the emergence of credit management profession in Nigeria. Helping Nigeria transit from a cash-based economy to a credit economy is what the NICA is pushing. As it says, there is no advanced society where credit is not in use, as this helps to grow the economy. We are looking forward to a bigger and greater professionalism in the practice of credit management and being able to equally influence the direction of the economy and so that this country can sit comfortably in the summit of nations that practices credit economy. For the Taraba state government, credit has helped the state grow. Without the credit facility, all the achievement recorded by the administration we wouldn't have been able to record such achievement. The Minister of Finance, Mrs. Zainab Ahmed, is representing the president at this occasion. She's quick to say that credits, especially in the mortgage sector, is imperative. But that is a gap that we have identified that we, we don't, uh, that we need to bridge, especially in the mortgage market, but more especially in credit that is to be availed for small, medium, uh, enterprises. It is, however, imperative to state that credit at any level or in any sector, if not properly managed, it spells doom for an economy. And she does the honors of unveiling the act. The National Institute of Credit Administration, now chartered, is a prestigious body of credit management elites in the country.